Three taps A, B and C can fill a tank in 12, 15 and 20 hours respectively. If A is open all the time and B and C are open for one hour each alternately, the tank will be full in. So basically he's talking about three taps and a tank, right? The taps are A, B and C which can fill, it, fill the tank in 12, 15 and 20 hours respectively. Which means A's capacity is 1 by 12, B's capacity is 1 by 15 and C's capacity is 1 by 20, right? The three capacities have been given to us, capacities of all the three taps. Now, read the next point in the statement, in the question. A is open all the time. A works throughout. But B and C are open for one hour each alternately. So, A is always working on this project, but B and C come alternately for one hour each. Are you getting it? So, I mean, you don't have to do this pictorial representation in the exam, but for the sake of clear explanation, let me just, uh, you know, put up a table here. You see, one hour, first hour, first hour, right? Second hour, third hour, fourth hour, and so on. Fifth hour, and, and so on, right? So, let's understand who all are working in each of these hours. Who will work in the first hour? See, A works throughout. A is there everywhere. A, A never stops working. B and C come alternately. So, in the first hour, A, B works along with A. In the second hour, C works. Third hour, again, B works. Fourth hour, C works. Fifth hour, B works, and so on. You're getting it? So, each hour, two persons are working. One of them is A always. The other person is between B and C. Either B or C. B or C, alternatively. That's it. Find out how much is the work gate. So, so, the cycle here is two hours. You see, the amount of work done every two hours will be same. The amount of work done in first hour and second hour will be equal to the amount of work done in third hour and fourth hour will be equal to the amount of work done in 6th hour and 5th uh, hour and 6th hour and so on. Why is it so? Because the same group comes into picture, right? A, B, A, C, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, C and so on. You getting it? So, you should, you should consider the unit here as 2 hours. How much of work is getting done in 2 hours? That will help you solve the question uh, faster. Right? Now, how do you do it? A and B. See, A's capacity is 1 by 12. B's capacity is 1 by 15. So, this much of work is getting over in 1 hour. How much of work will get over in second hour? A's capacity is 1 by 12. C's capacity is 1 by 20. Solve this now. Simplify. So, 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15. Right? 60 is the LCM there. So, 5 times and 4 times 9 by 60. So, in the first hour, 9 by 60 of the work got over. How much of the work will get over in second hour? 5 times and this is 3 times. 8 by 60. You're getting it. In the first hour, they were able to do 9 by 60. In the second hour, they, A and C are able to do 8 by 60. You're getting it. 9 by 16, 8 by 60. See, this looks to be lengthy. The process looks to be lengthy, but you're not going to put up all these steps, right? When you start solving this question, you'll start from this step. You directly take capacities. 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15, 1 by 12 plus 1 by 20. 60 is LCM in both the cases. 5 plus 4 times 9. 5 plus uh, uh, 3 times, right? 8. Now, 9 by 60 plus 8 by 60, which means in 2 hours, we are able to do this much of work. How much is this? 17 by 60. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 by 60 every 2 hours. In 2 hours of time, we are able to do 17 by 60. Now, try to understand, guys, that our unit is now 2 hours. It will repeat. So the same work will get done in the next 2 hours. Again, the same work in the next 2 hours and so on. What is the total work to be done? The total work is 1 unit. The total work always is 1 unit, right? We have been able to do how much of 1? 17 by 60 out of 1 is done. Now, try to come as close as possible to 1. You're getting it? And I am explaining this in detail from the very basics. So, we have got 17 by 60. Now, try to take multiples of 17 by 60 and come as close as possible to 1. Suppose it was 20 by 60. For example, if it is 20 by 60, 20 by 60 is what? 1 third. 1 third in 2 hours. So, all the work in 3 hours. Total work in 3 hours. But that cannot be done here. Right? So, let me first get a multiple here. What, what will I do? I will multiply by 3. Because 17 into 3 is 51. 17 into 4 is 68. 68 is more than... 68 by 60 will be more than 1. We want exactly 1 or less than 1. So, multiply by 3. Which means what? 51 by 60, 51 by 60 was done in 6 hours. So, in 6 hours, you will be able to do 15 by 60. So, what is remaining work? This is already done. This is already done. What is remaining? Understand, remaining work will be how much? Total 1 unit from which 51 by 60 has to be subtracted. You don't have to do this. You know that if, you know, from 1, if you subtract 51 by 60, you will be left with what? 9 by 60. 9 by 60. That means 9 by 60 is to be completed. In 6 hours, you have been able to do 51 by 60. How much is left out? How much is left out? 9 by 60. Now, who will come in the 7th hour? Try and understand. After 6th hour, who comes in the 7th hour? 7th hour, A and A and B are going to come again. Here, A and C worked. After that, A and B are going to come. And I know that A and B in 1 hour, they can do 9 by 60. You see? 
in first hour a and b could do how much 9 by 60 so can i say this 9 by 60 will be done by a and b in the seventh hour you're able to follow can we say a and c together will be able to a and b sorry a and b together will be able to finish this 9 by 60 in the seventh hour yes so in six hours they did 51 by 60 which is like 17 by 20 actually. I mean, if you simplify, the remaining 3 by 20 will be done by A and B in the 7th hour. So, total time required. See, the tank will be full in how many hours? The tank will be full in how many hours? 6 hours plus 1 hour. This is 1 hour of work, right? So, the tank will be full in 6 hours plus 1 hour. 6 hours plus 1 hour. Let me highlight that in a uh, different color so that you follow, right? This 6 hours of work, 51 by 60, and this 9 by 60 of the work, which was done in 1 hour. So, total time required is at 7 hours. Total time is 7 requires. And now, again, remember a point that we, we have gone with an assumption that B is the one who works in first hour and C works in second hour. The answer will change if C works in first hour and B works in the second hour. See, he says B and C are open for one hour each alternatively. alternately. So, we are assuming that it is B first and then C. B and then C. B and then C and so on. Right? If the sequence changes, the answer will change. Don't assume that whether it is A, B and A, C or A, C and A, B, the answer will remain the same. No, it's not that. If C starts working in the first hour and then B comes in the second hour and so on, then the answer will change. Then the answer will change. See, of course, same, up to 6 hours, you'll be able to do 51 by 60, but remaining will be 9 by 60. This 9 by 60 cannot be done in one hour then. Why? Because in the 8th hour, in, in the 7th hour, we will get A and C in that case. And A and C can do only 8 by 60. So, still 1 by 60 will be left out. And for that 1 by 60, again the 8th hour is required. So, there the answer will be more than 7 hours. You are able to follow. So, be very clear. The assumption here we followed was that B starts first along with A. And then C comes into picture. I mean, if nothing is given, you have to go by that. Right? Unless it is specified very clearly that it is C followed by B. Also, if you look at you, you have to look at the options. See, since options were not given, we have limited choice. Options were not given, so we had followed the solution. If options were given and one of the options says data in in inadequate or cannot be determined, then your answer should be cannot be determined. Strictly speaking, answer cannot be determined because we do not know the sequence. Is it A B followed by A C or A C followed by A B? Now that depends on the options. If the option says data inadequate, then you can as well go for data inadequate as the answer. Okay. So the final answer to this question is seven hours. 